All right, here we go, guys. We're going to check out the state of play. I've already seen most of these trailers, but we're going to check it out here on stream. Give you guys some of my impressions of what, what's been revealed and what things look like here. I'm sure most of you have already seen a lot of this. Hey, say, Jesse. You still, oh shoot! Sorry, guys, I came up. What's up, Bloom? Ah, uh, there's some good in out. There's some like good-looking game. This game looks really fun here. This is a multiplayer game coming out. Kind of reminds me of like Overwatch meets Guardians of the Galaxy. How much longer for the upload? But the final trailer in the whole show is my favorite. It looks absolutely incredible. The last game that they show. Where is this coming from? It's coming from you back on the ship saying, Trust still your brother? Professionals. We'll stick to the plan. We can do this. And then, that. <laughs> that was not the plan. Technically, it was a plan. It just wasn't the same plan that we started with. If we don't leave with this plan, they are. We will. We will. I'll be leaving outside. Uh, no one moves. We'll be taking this off your hands. What? This? Funny. Dude, you should, Bloom. You should. Why not? Keep fresh. I used to play on Sundays all the time. A lot of fun. So this game looks really, really good, honestly, from what I saw of it in this trailer and everything. They do show gameplay in a little bit, so if you're wondering like what the game's gonna be like, they will show us. I wasn't honestly expecting it to be what it ended up being after seeing this trailer, but I'm still like okay with it. It looks it looks like a lot of fun. bland situations or whatever. Hey, Mar. Don't joke about something like this. <sighs> Our next job is somewhere with less scaffolding. No scaffolding. Zero scaffolding. I, I promise. <sighs> we were apart for so long. I, I thought I'd never feel your fire in your face again. You sound ridiculous. Oh, boy, we're getting YouTube ads here. Don't you love YouTube ads? Uh, Conquered. So that's the new game, Conquered, that you guys will see some gameplay of in a moment. It's a pretty fun trailer there. Concord is a 5v5 first-person shooter set in the vibrant sci-fi universe of the Concord galaxy. In Concord, from the moment you log on, you are part of the crew of the North Star. 
a group of guns for hire known in our galaxy as Free Gunners. Free Gunners are those lucky enough to be free to roam the stars. They take high-stake jobs on worlds across wild space, where they face other fiercely competitive Free Gunner crews. Here's the very first look at the gameplay of Concord. So I don't know if this is uh, versus if this is PVE or PVP or a little bit of both. I'm not even sure. It looks like it's PVE, but I mean PVP. As you can see, I mean it looks really fun. It looks like Overwatch a bit, of course. Got to compare it to that. I don't know if this is going to be a free-to-play game or not. I hope not, honestly. So we got different characters do different things, of course. Different abilities. She looks cool with like her fire spray that she shoots down. Star Child, the brute. Definitely more of like a support character, it looks like. This crew will go anywhere. Take any job. Face any enemy. With a free gunner crew of the North Star. Yeah, I mean, it looks it looks fun. I just really hope it's not a free-to-play game. That's all. Like, because <laughs> then that means you won't even get to play as most of these characters unless you buy them, you know, and buy all their stuff and in-game currency, which I'm sure it'll have. The crew is gathering. Would you like to join us for a game night? With Concord, we lean on the strengths and background of our team to make a tight, well-balanced FPS that feels great to play. We focused a ton of our attention and our tech on building a strong gameplay foundation of tight core movement, precise visceral shooting, and expressive abilities. We ended up finding ourselves influenced a lot by fighting games and even strategy games. Fighting the games. The interesting way that the asymmetry of their characters makes every fight, every matchup feel really different. Leaning into the asymmetry of the characters, really pushing the possibility space of two different characters colliding. It's all about creating opportunities for improvisation. That's where we can get out of the way and let players find their own magic. We also have abilities that are meant to have impact beyond direct combat. Deployable gear that can persist throughout a full game, so whether that's multiple rounds of a mode or multiple respawns across a match. There are healing pads, bullet blocking domes, explosive traps lane blocking walls, all kinds of ways to support your team or disrupt your enemies. Coordinated teams can set up and plan ahead, and depending on where and when it happens, players can shift the battlefield. Oh yeah, I completely agree, Apple. We've Most got everything definitely from do. mystics and medics I would have loved this as like a campaign, Every but... Every character brings their own unique personality, skills, and wide-ranging perspectives to Still does group. look very fun. Every week, when you log into Concord, you will be welcomed with a new cinematic vignette that will give you a chance to see our characters off the job. They will feature ongoing narrative arcs that grow the characters' stories and relationships and unpack the broader Concord galaxy. Why are you kissing a tchotchke? We're excited to share that we'll be hosting a pre-launch beta in July, followed by Concord's global launch on August So this comes out this year in August. Right around when the Star Wars games drop. The, I mean, the Star Wars... Outlaws games drops. Um, yeah, it looks fun. I mean, I'd have to get the PlayStation Online by then for sure to play that. But um, it looks looks like it could be a really really fun game. We'll see. We'll see. This is like, I mean, some of these trailers I might skip, guys. Like, this is just the PC release of God of War Ragnarok. Like, we already know about this game. Like, let's just go towards the end of that. It's nothing new, right? Nothing we haven't seen before. I might even skip. There's some VR trailers, guys. I frankly don't care about VR. 
at all. But maybe I'll let them play for anybody that is interested. But basically, yeah, God of War Ragnarok's coming to PC, so if you don't have a PlayStation, and you want to play the game, there you go, September. It will be available for Whatever PC players. Do, and we have at Harbor Freight. YouTube ads popping up again. You love rich, delicious ice cream. I do. But your stomach doesn't. That is Come on. This game looks pretty cool. Soldiers and officials alike oppress the people for personal gain. I'm really, really hyped for one of the games, and then games like this and Concord look really, really good. I'm just, I don't know how they're gonna be. Oh, wait, not this game. This is something different. This is not what I thought it was. You couldn't tell already what this is. <laughs> I've tried one of these games before and it was pretty fun. New Dynasty Warriors thing. So there you go, Dynasty Warriors Origins. This game looks very, uh, very interesting. This gameplay, I'm not even sure of what to make of it. It's like platforming and like Pokemon Snap, and then there's looks like there's boss fights too that they show. So I have no idea. I kind of want to play this game, yeah, I, I do. may see some of these on the channel. I mean, it looks different, right? I really don't know what's going on. Like, are you supposed to... I think you're going to be taking pictures, too? Like, that's what it seems like? But there seems to be platforming and other things involved. Infinity Nikki. Which is test infinity, in quarter three. Or is infinity awaiting so there's a demo anymore? coming. I don't know if it'll be out this year fully, but. Stars. Shields. This game looks awesome. I mean, this game, it, it could be really good. It's, uh, it looks like another Souls-like game. But I'm always intrigued by these now. There seems to be so many of these going around. Could be, I don't know, unless it's more of a hack and slash. But it definitely looks like a Elden Ring type of thing. Remember, no matter what happens, we did not betray this world. Ballad of Antara. That one looks good. 
That comes out next year, of course. Another game coming out next year. Not, not this year. Now we're getting to the VR stuff, which, again, I honestly could care less about. But I'll let them play for you guys. Because some of you guys might like the VR. I just can't play VR because of my motion sickness and stuff. So I really, really can't. I as fun as they might be. And break the curse. But I was a fool. And I really don't, um... I don't know. I mean, some of these VR games look like awesome games that I wish you could play without having to use a VR headset. Just play with a controller. And that would be awesome. But they need to give you like exclusives on the VR to give people, you know, a reason to buy one. I used to wonder how much money they're making off the VR stuff. Borderlands VR? Be cool. Yeah, I just don't think I can do VR. I get nauseous, I'm sure. So I kind of pretend that these games don't even exist. So I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything, you know? Behemoth. There's more VR stuff too, I think. More ads as well. Whoops, day to play. Come on. It's going to be a pretty short stream tonight, I think. We're going to play a little bit of a game later. So I mean, this would be cool if it wasn't VR, you know? It's Alien. Benson. What's up, I'm Sean Benson? State of play to introduce more exciting titles coming to PlayStation. Starting with a highly anticipated PvP shooter, playable soon on PS5. I, I, again, I didn't see every single trailer, so there's some. Oh, I've seen this one. I don't know about this one. Um, I'll let you guys see it. I said this is a cool concept. It looks a little janky. <laughs> it also looks like it's probably going to be a free-to-play game, from the looks of it. Which means, you know, you're going to have to fork over hundred dollars before you buy every character. You know, if you want them all. Rather than just buying like a $50, $60 game and getting everybody there. Um, will it deliver? Exactly. I mean, it's a great concept to have like Marvel PvP. It's really cool. It honestly looks kind of simple and that leads me to believe that it's going to be a free-to-play thing. Which means they're just going to monetize the hell out of it. If that's not free to play and it has like an actual release, and you can get like most of the characters just from buying the game, then I'd totally check that game out. No doubt about it. There's a beta in July. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how they go. 
Storm looks busted already. I know. She looks really good in that. Okay, here's another cool looking game. Again, could be another Souls-like. I'm not sure. It looks pretty similar to something like that. But maybe more hack and slash, I'm hoping. Is they bring us something different? Dang, those boss, are, those boss fights look hard, don't they? I can already see myself struggling through these fights. But I mean, the art style looks really cool in this game. And again, I'm always interested in seeing these new IPs, you know, rather than just seeing boring remasters and remakes every single trailer or seeing, like, you know, the same stuff over and over again. Like, it's kind of cool to see new IPs Hello, coming out, new things. I'm super excited to Speaking of remakes and remasters. This is a Save Tonight cover in the, in the trailer by Eagle Eye Cherry. He does the original anyways. Hayden Panettiere. Until Dawn, coming to PS5, falls. actually, it's already out, guys. It's on PS4. You don't need to buy a $60 version. <laughs> Just get the PS4 version played on your PS5 if you want. I picked this up last year for my PS4 for dirt cheap. I haven't played it yet, though. I d definitely want to check it out. I've been waiting to check it out because I've seen some of that game. It looks really good. But they're releasing it for PS5 for some reason. I don't know why. It's like they're trying to resell the same game again. But each day descends further. Just buy the PS4 version. Famine, plague, Dude, that trailer is so good, Jaded. It is like it's the best one of the of the, the show. The best one. That actually blew me away. This is um, this is a sequel to something, right? It's like a dungeon crawler type of thing. Now, what this one actually be really good? This like Diablo, but I love these kind of games. I'm a sucker for. Them. Is this Path of Exile? Forget what this. What is this? Couch co-op? Hell yeah. See, I haven't seen this trailer yet. And crossplay. Cross progression. Those are some good features. Path of Exile 2, it must be. Yeah. 
Whoa, that looks great. That might be one of the ones I'm hyped for now. That one looks really okay. great. You're good to go. Welcome to Frontier. Awesome, thank Holy you. Shit. I never played In the first lifetime, one. I will own four. But that looks like something I would totally enjoy. Excuse Path me. of Exile too, man. That looks good. I'm sorry. Okay, here's another game I, I frankly okay. don't care about, but I know this is probably going to be really I'm good anyways. Lost. Like, I don't I'm see myself sorry. playing this. Um, you should stay away. Because I love the original so much, I'm just like I don't need to play the the remake. But this is probably gonna be really cool, though. Dangerous, honestly. Maybe. And for those who haven't played Silent Hill 2, you gotta play at least this version of it. I guess I don't really care if it's dangerous. It's a fantastic game. This will also be a lot cheaper <laughs> than going back and getting the old one. Is it going to be as janky as Silent Hill 2? You kind of need it to be to create that tension in the fights. Like, if it's more fluid, it's not going to be as scary, you know? Silent Hill 2 is so freaking scary, but it does it in a way that's not through jump scares or anything, you know? I'll be good, I, I don't know if they're going to be able to capture that again. I don't think so. I don't. Yeah, I don't think so either. Are we back up? Are we back up, guys. I think the stream just had a little hiccup there. Are we live. It's back. It's back. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. I think the internet just tried to ruin our time here. You're yeah, right. It's not going to hold a candle to the original uh, Silent Hill. Too. So definitely not. To share the first full gameplay trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds. All right, so this is one of the big reveals. Hey, a lot of people are going to be hyped for I've not played any Monster Hunter games. But they look pretty good. This is the one you're hyped for, Apple? I think a lot of people are going to be very, very hyped. This is going to come on next year, right? I mean, this is such a big series now. This one honestly looks way different than the other Monster Hunters to me. But then again, I haven't played them, so... It's a very complex thing. I feel like it's something that's probably better, like co-op too, like multiplayer, like going after the beasts together. Like I think I could get into Monster Hunter if I gave it a chance, you know. Play here. Hmm. That guy's tongue, oh my gosh. What's going on? How long it takes to take down some of these beasts? That guy looks straight out of an early Xbox 360 game. He just waltzed in here from Skyrim.
believe that's coming out next year, 2025, yeah. Hey, what's going on, Mitsa? Welcome in. <laughs> Some bonus stuff there. And now, for an ad. Yogurt, guys. Thanks, YouTube. Thanks. Doing good, man. How you doing? No complaints here. Now for the trailer that has me really hyped. This was like... When I first saw what it was, like this, I was like, okay. What is this going to be? Another little, like, thing. But man, when you see this trailer, this has me so excited, and you'll see why. <laughs> I know. That's good, me too. I know, perfect timing on that ad, huh? Oh my gosh, this looks... This is a great trailer. Look how freaking fun this game looks. We have a new 3D platformer to look forward to, guys. Look at this. Look at the flamingos. All the world. I just want to run around in the game right now. This is gonna... This is so hype. It looks like a Ratchet game. Let's be honest, but... gonna be super good. Got all these abilities and stuff. It's like a little bit of Mario Odyssey thrown in there. 80 levels? Holy shite! This is gonna, this is gonna be a big game. Look at that one underwater. Did you see that? I think that's supposed to be Nathan Drake, right? There's Paul Rapper the rapper, so you get like different outfits. I think they show uh what's his name from God of War too. This is hype. Let me look at this. You got about boss fights, crazy big boss fights. I love that they saved this for last too. Like let us just close the show with a brand new 3D platformer rather than being something you know something that we've seen a million times over the past couple years bring back the 3D platformer golden age I don't need to rub that genie's lamp because I got my wish Right. That looks phenomenal. Phenomenal. Bosses look fantastic. They really do. The whole game. Wait, hang on. You see those outfits right there? If we pause it. So you've got, what's her name from Horizon, right? It looks like. Nathan Drake. God of War. Who else is there? Can't tell who's behind her. Who's that guy on the far left? Who's that supposed to be? And it's coming this year. This year in September. That's the best part. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I want to see this uh, Path of Exile thing again because that was good. Ape Escape. Oh, really? That's an old PlayStation One. Damn. Yeah, I think I think that game looks so freaking good. I mean, a 3D platformer, a new one, getting that much like attention right there, like the, as like you know the the, the main attraction is great to see. You know, this one I didn't see before, so I'm really hyped for this. What's the first Path of Exile game on? Is it PC only? It sucks with controller, okay. So I'll probably just wait to play this one. 
This one's gonna be meant for uh, controller playing, so because they're putting it on. Yeah, console in mind. Yeah, so this one is probably gonna be the one to play. I mean, this looks really, really good, and like the features, like the couch co-op, absolutely love that. Like, thank you for that. What an option that is. Games like this could easily do couch co-op all the time, but they don't. They don't do it anymore. Diablo could ease. Does the Diablo wait? Diablo doesn't do it, do they? I don't think they do. Do they? Maybe Diablo does. Um, but they need to make more couch co-op games like this. This is a free-to-play game. That's interesting. I did not expect that. I never, I never knew the first one was. We'll see. Hopefully, it's not like super monetized. All right. Well, that is the state of play. A lot of cool things. Some things that I, you know, I frankly don't care about. But there's definitely some stuff to look forward to for this year and beyond. Um, I wonder, I wonder if they have anything else planned the rest of the year. I mean, the Astrobot game looks great, so I can't wait for that one to come out later this year. Definitely picking that one up. Diablo 3 has couch co-op. 4 might get it eventually. They said they want to do it. Oh. Well, at least they're going to try to do it. Yeah, I remember playing 3 with my friend a bit. So I was like, I didn't know if 4 had it yet or not. Yes, not. But yeah, guys, that was the state of play. Some decent stuff there. Um, let me 